Hi there. I am going to work on a 365 a day project today. I got my tools out here. I'm going to use my brushes. I got that wide water brush that I've been using. I have these little makeup brushes. They're kind of fun. They're these two. They're kind of fun for smoothing out the backgrounds. And then I have this brush, which is just a round brush, a lead pencil, and my dip pen, and my Pentel fountain pen. I kind of like using this because I have a nice flow of ink. Today, I'm also going to use Distress Stains. Instead of ink, I'm going to play with these Distress Stains. I picked Walnut Ink, Milled Lavender, which I may or may not use, and Worn Lipstick, which I think I'm going to have to tone down. Instead of getting my images off of Pixabay, I'm going to use some images out of this Tim Holtz Found Relatives picture pack. And I'm actually going to use the card on my on my paper too. And I chose this one of the baby. Baby baby Jane Doe. It doesn't have a name. We might have to name her. But this is the picture that I'm going to use out of this pack. I want to use these these found relatives. I've got two of these packs, I believe. And I want to use them for different projects. So, and I wanted to show you, I finished week one, which would be two folios for me. And I think that I am going to have to start, the, I'm going to use the, Coptic stitch. I'm going to uh, go to Giselle's video on how to do the Coptic stitch. And I'm going to start with my folios as soon as I get them, two of them, ready to go. And then as I finish each one, I'm going to add it so at the end of the month, I won't have a whole bunch of stitching to do. <laughs> so that's another project for me to do this week. I started this one. This is the cover of week, well, of October, the month of October, because I've got eight folios, or or eight pages, eight folios, which would be 32 pages. There's only 31 days in October, so I had an extra page, and I'm going to use it as a cover. And for all the other months, I will have extra pages. So I'm going to use those up, and uh, this is what I've done so far for October. It's not finished. I had an inky towel. <laughs> Look at this inky towel. I spilt my indigo blue ink and I had to wipe it up and I have all this beautiful ink on here, which is, by the way, water soluble. <laughs> but I had, as I was doing these other pictures, when I would clean off my brush, I would clean it off on a towel and, and I collaged that towel and that's what you see in the background. And then I used some of my Speedball Gold ink and just kind of smeared it on there and smeared some uh, folk art uh, copper on there. And I'm I'm still going to finish this. You'll see what I'm going to do with it. I have it planned out in my head what I'm going to do with it. But as you can tell, I finished two of them. I did yesterday's, which was day seven. I did, I did it while I was waiting for a YouTube video to upload. So I don't have a video of it but here it is this is what I did for day seven I got this image off of Pixabay too so my my folio for week one is finished so it's ready to be stitched together I'm going to start today on week two which would be day eight so let me get this out of the way I just love how this I love how this folder fits into my into my planner. I just love this. So I'm going to put, put this aside. Now what I want to do with this baby picture is I'm going to make a little holder out of some clear acetate to put down here. So what I wanted to do with my pencil was just to give myself a, a guideline and this will be this will be, you won't see it, or if you do see it, it'll be very faint in the finished piece. But I know everything below here 
will potentially be covered by this picture. I You could put it in this way. It's going to be a pull-out tab. But I think I'm going to put them in this way so when they pull it out, they can say, oh, look. <laughs> so that's what I'm going for. I'm going to show you a close-up of this as much as I can. And then I'm just going to set it. I'm going to set it against my water jug. I can see her, but you probably won't be able to see her too well because, like I said, in the mode that I have on my on my smartphone camera, I cannot do a zoom in this mode. I wish I could, but I can't. And this is all I have to record with. I'm happy I'm using what I have here. I'm going to have to put her more in the light so that I can see her better. I need more light. I need more light. Yeah. There. Now, I'm all set up here, ready to go. So, I'm still working the 15-minute time limit. Giselle, who is the host of the 365 Art A Day group on Facebook, which there's a link below, um, kind of changed it to say, if you need to work over 15 minutes a day, that's fine too. But her goal is to to do at least 15 minutes a day of art, minimum. But if you want to go over that, who cares? So if I want to cheat a little, but my personal goal is to keep these to 15 minutes or maybe 16 or 17 minutes because I don't want to overwork my photos or my drawings from the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and set the alarm clock and that will give me approximately 15 minutes. So when I draw this little gal here, I want her head to, to come up here. I think I will start by blocking it in. I can get kind of a general feel of how I want this. Her skirt, I think I'll block in her skirt first. Her skirt is going to be down in this portion. So when you pull that card out, all you'll see is the skirt and maybe a part of her, her little shoes. And I might get her hand down in there. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to start out by putting some... I'm going to work with the walnut stain versus the sepia ink and this is a new bottle I haven't used it yet I'm just going to get some down on my squeeze some down on my wax paper I want quite a bit and you might see me smearing this across my paper too and I'm just going to use this to do the blocking first and I have, I'm using my water brush, but all I have in there right now is just a teeny bit of water. <laughs> I've been dipping my water brush in the water itself. I've been using it more as a paint brush than a water brush. I should change that. I just haven't, haven't done it yet. So I want to bl start blocking in here how I want her to to look on here. Ooh, I like this. And I'm not too concerned about the shapes here. See, I know I want her hand, her little hand comes right down in here. And she's got a little sleeve, which kind of falls into here. And let's see, she's got her shoulder, kind of some of the, some of the dressy part in here.
Now for her head part. I am just going to, babies have a larger head and it tends to be round, but I don't want to make it too large or too round. And I don't want to make it too dark. If I go for dark, it'll be in the background here. So essentially what I'm doing here is painting with my walnut stain ink. Or walnut stain, they call it uh, fluid dye. I was reading that this morning. I go, okay, is this an ink or what? <laughs> a stain? They call it on the bottle there, they call it a fluid dye. So I am essentially using my water brush to, to paint with a fluid dye. And let's see, this has now I started at 802, 803, and it's 807 now. So this is what I've done in four minutes. And essentially all I've done is said, this is the sense of how I think that she's going to look on the page. I want to say something that I've noticed about when I've done these drawings, that after I block in the image, sometimes when I'm drawing with my fountain pen, I don't say, well, this is the exact edge of her dress. This is exactly where her face is going to go. Sometimes my pen may come out further Let's just say that I wanted her the line of that pen to come out further on her arm here. I might make my line into the shadow area here rather than right on the edge. This is just kind of a block, a blocking to get a sense of the image on the page. Let's see, I wanted to do a little bit more up in here. And I will say it gives some tone to the page. Now, all of this is in the background here. I'm just going to kind of, uh, if you look at the picture, there's shadow in here, just a very light shadow. And because this part of the, her dress is in the back, there should be shadow in there. There's shadow in here. Of course, there's shadow where the lines fall. And this is actually her shoe, I think. And, and there's shadow down here. So that's what all of this is on my page image of her forms the silhouette kind of background which draws her face out and then the, this part of her dress and her face is lighter a lighter color so I can build this up darker if I want And I'm not going to worry about it being, having or needing to be too perfect. In fact, I could take my stain and actually do that, I think, and swish it around with my brush. Just to get a quicker background. She's kind of got, she doesn't have a big ear. Not a baby ear. I wanted to get some darkness in here too, if I could. Now 
there I think I'm fairly fairly happy with what I've done here I need to load my water brush with some actual water I'm gonna put some shadow in here some shadowing in here I still need to work with this area. Now her face, the baby's face, has shadowing in it, but I need to be careful. I need to be careful because this is where I could mess up if I mess up. I want to keep that baby's face round. And fairly, fairly light. And more of a neck in here. Yeah. Keep it round. I don't like it angular. Okay, the other thing is when I use this, my page gets wet. So I want to I want to dry it so that I can do my fountain pen work on it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to work with my fountain pen here. And I think I'm going to work start down here with my the dress, the sleeve of the dress like I did before with the blocking seems to me to be a good place to start and defining her little fingers in here and her thumb and her hand But a painter would build that shadow up to define the line between the dress and the white of the sleeve. I'm, they probably would not draw a line down that way. They might, but generally a painter will, will build up their shapes with their paint. I'm defining my shape here because I'm doing a sketch. But I am using sort of a painterly technique with my washes. And this is just my take on it. You might, another artist would come in and say, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, and then her dress, she's got a little of her ear showing off here. Her dress comes this way. Uh, the sleeve comes off, a little collar off in here. And she's got a little collar in here. I think her dress, I can't tell. So can I do that on here? I have to hold it up closer to my nose. <laughs> kind of a little frill bow tie on her dress. And if you look really close, it looks like her, her 
dress has a little netted pattering on the top. I don't know if I can mimic that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Okay. Did you hear that alarm? This is what I've done in 15 minutes. I'm certainly not finished with this. I'm going to go a little bit over 15 minutes because I want to finish her. to do is I'm going to put this card right here. I think I'll put it right in here. I think I'll put a little ribbon on it so that you can pull it out. I like putting the card face down and I'll have that same design on every page of this week. So let's see. I want to go ahead and sign this. I, I'm going to quit on it. Is it perfect? No. But it's a it's a 30 minute sketch, not a 15 minute sketch. And But I think it, that setting that time limit helps me quit before I overwork it. I'm going to go ahead and sign this. Uh, I'm going to sign it right down in here. Uh, three... 65 art a day. Uh, October 8th, 2014. I'm going to put 30 minute sketch on here. I'm going to cut out of this transparency sheet that I have here. I'm going to cut a little piece go right down in here to fit my photo mat, to fit my photo card. signatures right down here it'll be underneath of the photo this will look good once it's in the album and then I hope to have I hope to have do all these photos on all of these pages. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next page.